What's up, dudes? It's a YouTube. I'm the original Dillmeister, and I'm back for what is possibly the final video of dating. It's complicated. College humor slash dropout. Uh, that's who it's by. So, uh, without further ado, I am going to get right to it. Uh, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications about more of these videos coming soon. And as always, at the end of the story, I am going to give my overall opinion about how I felt about it. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to get right to it. I'm clicking play now. The drawer incident, why is it During my freshman year of college, I was dating a girl who still lived at home. One night we were messing around at her house when I realized I didn't have any condoms on me. So my girlfriend insisted that I go steal some from her dad's closet. I should have asked her why she knew her dad had condoms or just stood up and screamed no. But at the time I was thinking with the wrong head, so I quickly agreed that this was the best plan of action. I'll give you a hint. It was not the best plan of action. In nothing but a pair of boxers, I snuck across the house into her parents' bedroom. Luckily, they had gone to some lame opera that night, so the place was empty. Once I got in the closet, I immediately realized why this plan may not have been the best idea. There were literally 50 drawers to choose Whoa. from, and they all looked exactly the same. For longer than I'd like to admit, I was convinced I was on a hidden camera reality show. So after I hit all heaven for the camera crew, I started opening the drawers one by one and quickly learned that old men have way too many pairs of underwear. Eventually, I yeah. opened up the right drawer and found the jackpot. Condoms. <laughs> Lots of condoms. Like, way too many condoms for a dad to have, but I didn't care. I found what I came wow. for. Success! Unfortunately, success quickly turned into pain as the entire wall of drawers fell directly on top of me. Oh. Four <laughs> hours later, my girlfriend, her parents, and paramedics were all helping me get out from under the rubble which was mostly made up of her dad's tidy white. <laughs> Once I got out, I tried to break the awkwardness by telling my girlfriend's dad that he has way too many pairs of underwear. But not surprisingly, he didn't laugh. So I didn't get laid, and I didn't get my clothes back. Talk about the walk of shame. Dating. It's complicated. Very complicated. <laughs> you said it, pal. I mean, I mean, granted, you would... Hang on. Turn off the screen recording. Granted, getting hit, getting like a... Uh, like the drawer falling on top of you, that would hurt like a lot. But I don't understand why you would need to call the paramedics. Like, did you break a bone or something? And if it was the walk of shame, why did you, why, why would the ambulance be there? Like, do you just like call for like a bunch of like, I don't know why, I don't know what I'm talking about here. Overall, 7.5 out of 10 for this video. Hands down awesome. And so yeah, that was pretty cool, all things considered. But um, unfortunately, this is going to be the last of the It's da Dating, It's Complicated videos. Uh, maybe I'll watch something else here. Like, maybe I'll go back to watching those analog horror films or something funny. Like, uh, like maybe I could find some old George Carlin or stand-up comedy routines or something like that. If you guys have a suggestion, excuse me, if you have a suggestion, feel free to leave a link in the comment below for a suggestion and tell me how you think I did and how I can improve because, like, I feel like I'm struggling trying to make you guys like entertained and all that stuff. So without further ado, that is going to be it for this video. I'm the original Dillmeister signing out. Thank you and good night. It has been a pleasure and I'll see you all later. Take care.